David Seelebeck and the new rabbi from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So this is a bit of a surprise video for me. I wasn't planning on making this video today. I was actually planning on not dropping a video, which is unlike me. I don't know. I normally drop videos every day, like at least one or two. At least two. Yeah, one a day. You can't do at least one, at least two. No, at least one. At least one video. I normally do two a day. And I've got a live stream this, uh, this afternoon at 5 p.m. Uh, 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 UK time noon uh, 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 on the East Coast. Uh, you know, so I figured, uh, Svee, Svee, you know, like, you've got a lot, of, a lot of other things on. It's the first night of uh, Hanukkah tonight, so it's like, it's a busy old time, busy old time. Uh, 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 and so I said, yeah, okay. And then I checked my email, right? <laughs> I checked my email and I saw the new issue of Doctor Who magazine drop, which is bad news for Doctor Who magazine, right? Because, <laughs> like, it used to be, I would, like, I would know, like, oh, do you look at your magazine? Now I was just like, oh, really? So uh, the new uh, issue of Doctor Who magazine dropped. We're going to do a review of it. It's a very Jodie Whittaker heavy issue after spending the last several issues uh, 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 base issues with Persona Non Grata. This is a very Jodie Whittaker uh, uh, heavy issue. I'd love to see the sales data. Although I think we're going to be able to see the 2020 sales data for Doctor Who magazine very, uh, very shortly. At the In 2019... It got down to from about twenty thousand a, a month to about sixteen two fifty. Uh, so I really want to see what you know what 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 uh, what's happened this year. But it does seem to me that when they put Jodie Whittaker on the front and center of anything, it does hurt it financially. Yeah, I think it sells less. I, I listen. I, I, again, if you like this era of Doctor Who. God bless you. I have nothing against you whatsoever. If you're new to my channel, you know, it's, uh, uh, I, I, you know, I really, nothing against you if you like this series. I really don't like it. And I really don't like it uh, uh, for, for many, I think, reasonably valid reasons. I think Jodie Whittle's portrayal has been stunningly bad, as we're going to see in this review of Doctor Who magazine. Uh, uh, but before we get there, can I ask you guys, can you hit the like button? That would be great. Can you hit that share button? That is really, really good. Can you comment? Comments are, all, are apparently very, very helpful. Who, who knew? Uh, mostly, can you hit the subscribe button? I just broke 2,000 subscribers. I'm really excited, but I don't know how I'm going to keep 2,000 subscribers. YouTube have been whipping subscribers away from me, left, right, and center all month. Uh, uh, so, yeah, if you're subscribed, please make sure you're, you're, you're still subscribed. And, of course, if you subscribe, you can enter my, my weekly competitions. Prize this week is a fun one, Ghostbusters. Uh, who are you going to call, indeed? Uh, uh, Blu-ray, got tons of extras on it. Uh, gorgeous package. All you need to do to win it is subscribe to the channel. That's the point of it. Subscribe to the channel, and in the comments, leave the hashtag, who are you going to call? And we're going to do the prize draw on Sunday, which I think is the 13th. Sunday the 13th when I'm on uh, uh, the TARDIS zone. I, I, I think we're doing a watch long or a blink. I, I don't know. Whatever Noel says, I'm happy to do. I really am. I, that's where I am with it. Uh, uh, also, uh, 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 can I ask you guys, can you go check the video notes, which will also have all the information for uh, uh, winning the, this competition, uh, uh, and, and check the link there. If you can hit that, uh, it's a sign up for, it's an email sign up to uh, create an email list for my Indiegogo that's launching. Uh, me, I think before Christmas. I, I'm, I'm oscillating, but I'm aiming be, be, before Christmas. These two graphic novels, uh, uh, by the way, if you like a bit of Doctor Who, you're going to like that one, the, the Imperium. Uh, uh, if you join the email, if you're good enough to take your time to join the email, firstly, thank you. <laughs> That's a, genuinely, thank you very much. Uh, and yeah, then you're even even gooder <laughs> to uh, 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 to uh, 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 make a purchase. And you get one of these for, uh, uh, for the male gaze. For the male gaze art cards, they're very tasteful, uh, uh, you know, very stunning, uh, uh, very brave <laughs> art cards. You get any one of these for free. Um, then if uh, uh, if you buy the package, wait, wait, where you get both graphic novels, you get all four for free anyway. That being the case, we're gonna we're gonna do a chaser card. We're gonna do a chaser card just for you guys. Okay, so that yeah, that's what we're gonna. So if you can go and uh, click that link and and your email address, that would be fan freaking tastic. Thank you very much. Uh, you know what's not fan freaking tastic? This is your Doctor Who magazine. Here we go. Oh, God. Really? Like, okay. I want to know. I want to know. What was Jodie Whittaker's direction with this picture? Like, what's she thinking, right? Like, no, not what she... Like, what... What is she trying to, trying to convey with this, like, kind of, like, smug, know-it-all, stupid, all at the same time face? Like, I... I it's like, I don't know! It's like... It kind of reminds you of, like, when Rick Mail was the, uh, 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 the new statesman, and he had that kind of, like, Lear. Same sort of thing. Like, what? What are they thinking? I think. Look, it's an issue where they have to have Jodie Whittaker on the on the front, and I think they're just going to go all in Jodie because they know 
uh, 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 this one probably will sell a little bit less than uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but, uh, yeah, that they normally sell. So let's have a, a flick through. What we're going to do, we're going to thumb through it. Uh, like, yeah, imagine you're at W.H. Smith's uh, and you're looking through it, trying to decide if you're going to buy it. And listen, I've seen that cover, and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm out. You know, I like, thank God I have a... Uh, 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 a digital subscription because if I saw that shelf, I'd be like, ah, run, run for the hills. I mean, there's really like, what about that is exciting or like it's all based on Jodie Whittaker. You liking Jodie Whittaker? If you don't like Jodie Whittaker, this is not very enticing. It's not very dramatic. It's not like David Tennant like running it all dramatically down here. But you got this. This is just like, uh, uh, look at me. <laughs> it really is. I just I don't understand. Don't understand what they're going for with this. But okay, okay, they've, uh, oh, a bit, bit of, uh, 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 Capaldi. I, I, I watched, uh, what, I watched, uh, was it, Wizards, uh, Wizards, uh, Apprentice last night. Freaking awesome episode. Love that episode. Uh, a bit of Yaz action, because Yaz's going to be front and center, I believe, of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, uh, uh the festive special. Not, not that it'd be very fair. Uh, Marcus Hearn did his, uh, a note since, oh God, he must be saying something about, um, uh, the, the the Daleks animation, which is stunningly bad, right? Stunningly bad. Oh, they got a picture of Perry Perry Goodbold. Now Perry Goodbold, somebody I've known for a while from Doctor Who magazine, because she's been a really good uh, uh, Doctor Who gra graphic designer. I've always wondered what she looks like. So there you go. She's the only other Perry I heard of, other than than Perpigillian Brown. You know, so okay. Uh, she did all the uh, all the cleaning up work on on the on the uh, uh, the comic strip collections they've been releasing. Uh, very 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 talented designer, I have to say. She she she's been, she's been doing it for like twenty years. She knows what she's doing. Production knows. Little Christian will sticks his head up out you know, out of his little hidey hole and goes, "Look at me! Look at me. look at this face! Look at that put him! Oh, never has a smile been less deserved." <laughs> so we're not going. Well, listen, I'm going to do a separate video where where we'll we'll read through this and uh, probably have a bit of a laugh and probably vomit in our own mouth quite quite a lot right oh, look at that back there the picture at the top we didn't know what it'll be uh, 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 but down here yeah at the bottom we did <laughs> we didn't know big Gallifrey Garden ah uh, the the uh, season was it season eight the uh, uh, releasing on uh, on blu-ray cannot wait that looks freaking awesome I do like the packaging they do for them and also uh, Web of Fear Web of Fear's not coming out till um Late, like middle of the year, they only well, they got to do one or two episodes, and the animation didn't look great. I have to tell you, I really didn't like it that much, but whatever, fine. Um, David Tennant recorded more stuff, uh, uh, in his bedroom or in his, in his spare bedroom for Big Finish, which I listen, I'm enjoying. I love the freaking uh, was it, uh, 10th Doctor and River Song box set, Big Finish. That's a strong recommend, right? That is a very, very strong recommend. And then we got a look at the 2021 yearbook. Let's have it. I think that deserves a zoom in. Like, really? Uh, firstly, poor Angeli Mahandra. Like, really? That she was reduced to this. Poor, poor woman. Uh, let's see what's inside it. Uh, the latest Doctor Who magazine uh, special edition, the 2021 yearbook, is out and packed with all new features and exclusive interview, uh, exclusive features and interviews. Exclusive because nobody's really caring. Uh, highlights of the issue include an exclusive interviews with the stars and guest stars of Series 12. Jodie Whittaker, John Barrowman, Mandip Gill, Tosin Cole, Laura Fraser, ooh, Kane? I don't even know who. Uh, Anthony Mahindra. Oh, God, look at this. It, it was just... I felt so bad for her. I just felt so bad for her in that costume. Uh, Warren Brown. Oh, ooh, look at me. I'm a gay man. Let me get... Nah, it's so little gay dark coming off Warren Brown there. Uh, Matthew McNutty. Oh, look, my gay lover, because we're gay. It's Doctor Who and we're being gay. Does that scare you, patriarchy? I, no, not really. It bores us. Uh, John Bora, Gabriel, but I don't know who any of these people are. I, I've seen the episodes, couldn't care less. Uh, there's also series 12 episodes, Retrospective of Spyfall Parts 1 and 2, all from 55. Oh, God, awful 55. What what does a retrospective mean? Like, like are they going to talk about how bad it was? Uh, they're going to have interviews with Ed Heim, the writer of all from 55. I, I mean, really, what a bad episode. Like, what a, what a, ins I, like, what an insane, baby! Biddy! Like, what an insanely bad episode. And Maxine Allerton, the the turgid, the unbelievably boring haunting of Villa Dildo E. Uh, I like, like, it was, so, I mean, really, you're going to have uh, Lord Byron and Mary Shelley creating Frankenstein. 
Hey, yeah, you expect them to do like coke off each other's asses, you know? You got you want them to be a bit debauched. No, they did quadrant. It was boring, right? Boring. And you had the great designer of the Lone Side Men, which uh, uh, like what a thing to waste. The magazine also features uh, the making of the animated series Daleks. Oh yes, just let's see if we can cram in more suck into one issue, like one thing. God, like who's buying this? Uh, 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 the distributor of Doctor Who, look, I'd love to see the sales figures. Oh, God, I'd love to see the sales figures of this. Uh, Doctor Who magazine, 29 year book, will be on sale from blah, 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 blah. Cost six ninety nine. are you out of your mind? Or five ninety nine for, uh, uh, the digital one? Yeah, no, no, thank you, darling. I'm fine. But there you go, a bit of Calafrain Guardian for you. Uh, Galactic Forum, yeah, whatever. Um, people doing stuff and talking and, okay... Uh, oh God! They they're even highlighting. Hey, look, look at the, what what's the, what's the Doctor Who related videos? Daleks, awful. Uh, uh, was it Emily Cook? Me? I mean, like really, like Emily Cook interviewing people? Just okay. Uh, Happy Dance Man video cast uh, in which Tony uh, Toby Decky invites you to into his home to watch Doctor Who. Oh, you know what? I will check that out. I will check that. See, that sounds interesting. What culture? Go away. Gaming takes over. Blah blah blah. blah. And a fan-made uh, uh, 57th uh, anniversary tra trailer. Okay, well, that's not very good, very good. Uh, more, okay, this, well, I mean, how many pages is this? They're, they're doing the... Uh, they did, what, one, two, three... Uh, did they say... What is she... Look at this expression! Like, what is she thinking? What is she going for with this? Look, eh? I know more than you. I honestly... I... I, I don't know. Have you? I'm like this. I understand you don't know what Doctor Who's about. You're a Karen, but like, you don't understand what heroism is. That's just not heroic in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's got more filler. Lots of dead people. Oh man, look how many people are dead. Uh, John Sessions, uh, Jeffrey Palmer. That's a shame, Jeffrey Palmer. Uh, well, it's a shame all of them. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to prioritize uh, people, actors having other jobs. Okay, very good, very good. And more of that. Uh, this month in 97, so far I haven't reached a page, I'm on page 13, haven't reached a page I'm vaguely interested in reading yet, right? So, uh, okay, okay, so now we've got the big preview of Revolution of the Dalek. Um, oh, how many pages? Like, okay, so we've seen all this before right now, right? Doctor Who magazine has had zero exclusives, right? So we've got that. Uh, got a new picture of Jody looking kind of boring. Uh, and then, who is that? That's a director, uh, fine, talking to... The Trumper-like villain, uh, who may, whoever, Captain Jack. Uh, look at this. Look at this drama. God, it's so freaking... I mean, like, really? I, how can you tell the difference between this and Coronation Street, right? I mean, I guess that's what they're hoping for. People might tune in and think it, thinking it is Corey. Oh, it's just... It, uh, the quality is just not there at all. And all these poor actors wasting their talent on it. I, I like this guy as well. He was in Misfits. He's a great actor. I just feel... I feel bad for any young actor getting a break in Doctor Who right now because uh, 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 it's just, it's, it's, it, it's not going to be a benefit their career, is it? Fine, so now they're talking about the, the this is a long article, they're talking about the uh, the shooting of the uh, trailer for the season eight Blu-ray. Um, okay, it's got a bit of peak Matigue in there. So, there's three pages on, sh really? Who, who cares? Really? I, and I... It's shooting an ad. It's shooting an ad cheaply that's not even going on TV, right? Uh, Time of Victorious, who gives a crap? Well, the new one just came out. I should really listen to it and review it. Oh, God help me. The Christmas episodes that Time forgot. Uh, well, no, okay. I have to say, I've always thought, I've always thought, I really wish Big Finish would do this. They would do Christmas episodes that didn't happen. They'll do like a third Doctor Christmas episode. Um, they could do a box set, like third, they get Tim Trelaw and, you know, it'd be fun. I would like to hear a unit Christmas episode. I would like to hear a fourth Doctor Christmas, uh, Christmas episode. Like, they, yeah, why not? Why not? It seems like it would be a good idea. Um, so this article is instead about episodes of Doctor Who that aired sometime around <laughs> Christmas time. So you got... Uh, the Mutants, uh, the Daleks, uh, that was on 28th of December. Uh, Daleks Made in Earth, that was on the 26th of December. See, that that probably was more time, because they had Dalek Mania going, Highlanders, 31st, like, it, it, like, who cares? Who cares? What are, like, 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 yes, I understand. They they would sometimes run uh, stories near, just in the running order, but they weren't. 
Time Warrior Part 3. Yeah, that big Christmas fair. Robot Part 1. Are you really? Power Across. I, I mean, I understand. I mean, Greatest Show in the Galaxy. I, yeah, the first time I remember that air, but again, it was just... I, I, I don't know. I, 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 what else was on Christmas? Let's see. I'll look at this one because I... Uh, 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 let's just read one because this one I, I, I remember. Right, so what happens? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. Great show, Galaxy. Freaking great story. You haven't seen it? Go watch it for yourself. Uh, the London. What else is on Christmas? Only Fools and Horses. Bread. Uh, uh, time prison. In the world. Russ Abbott. Sort out. Uh, 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 sought in vain to fill Morgan Wise's shoes. Yes, he did. Uh, never really worked, did it? Sorry. Time fracture. They got, they're going to have a, an article about this. And this uh, this is like the live event, which yeah, I didn't think we're going to them. So this is a weird article, which they're spending a lot of time on. Feast of Stevenson is one of the most eccentric episodes of Doctor in Doctor Who's history. Although, uh, uh, although only those lucky enough to have seen it on the 25th of December 1965 can remember what it actually looked like. Simon Gurry and, and Reese Williams resurrect the ghosts of Christmas past while Gavin Raimel digitally recreates... Uh, that sets from this adventure. This is a weird, kind of boring article. I mean, like, it just strikes me. It just strikes me that people writing Doctor Who uh, magazine right now don't really know what to do, right? Don't really know what interests Doctor Who fans. And I think they've got their hands time behind the back because they can't talk about the most interesting thing happening in Doctor Who, which is the, the rejection of the current era of Doctor Who by the Doctor Who fandom, which I think overwhelmingly... I, I probably is the case, but they can't they, they can't allow to talk about it. So they go so instead we get like unbelievably dull things like this. Like uh, uh, who cares? Uh, 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 how many pages they have got on this? And it's still going. It's still how many? What, you got it? One, two, three, four, five. This is like um, five pages of pure filler in a magazine so far that has been mostly. Let's let's do a, a page overview, right? Let's look at this. So we have, uh, you know, filler, uh, production notes, fine. I'll read that, but I'm just doing that for the channel. Gallifrey and Guardian, uh, letters. The uh, Okay, so we got one, two, three. We got four pages of news, right? That I would call Revolution of the Dalek preview, actual news. Three pages on, on the, making commercial. Then one, two, three, four, five pages on episodes that aired around Doctor Who. Then we got another one, two, three, four, five pages on Feast of Stephen, like, like, a real, like, okay, let's keep going, shall we, and see, see what else we got to say, fine, the, like, who's buying this, I bet, I, you know, like, I really, I, you're not getting another penny out of me, Time Lord Victorious, I'm sorry, this looks interesting, Dark Destroy, the, sec uh, the Secret of Invading Other Stories, Nicholas Briggs with Terry Malloy, uh, Kerry Smith, John Coleshaw, that sounds pretty interesting, uh, Terry and Dark and I would actually be into that, I never, I haven't seen that before, okay, fine. Uh, Child of Zens, no, not really interested. I don't, not interested in the current era of Dr. Bloody O. I guess, like, I'm sorry. So, Season's Greetings. Few people know uh, the tune. Even fewer know the, uh, own the original copy of the of the record. Tim Worthington reveals the strange story on the 1964 novelty, I'm going to spend my Christmas with a Dalek. Uh, yeah, it was a, I'm going to spend my Christmas with a Dalek. It was a very 60s song. Uh, um, okay, fine. Uh, it, Okay, how many pages are they putting into this? One, two, three, bloody hell. Four, okay, like, well, are we going to have a seven-page retrospective of Doctor in Distress? I mean, I, I, everything so far is pointless filler, right? Pointless filler. Uh, everything to play for the, okay, the time fracture thing. Kind of interested. This is kind of interesting. I wish I could go to it. They should really work out a way of making it a virtual experience rather than a immersive, a, 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 yeah, like a um, virtual reality uh, immersive experience. Um, because, uh, like, okay, I mean, and also, isn't this like a pivotal part of Time War Victorious? Doesn't it go there? I mean, who cares, really? Uh, this is okay. Three pages. Three pages they're putting into this. Unbelievable. Uh, James Goss, uh, James Goss, picture of him over here. Uh, yeah, look, James, 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 I don't know what went wrong with you. You're a competent writer. You've done good stuff before. Daleks is awful. Time of Victorious is not coming together well at all. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see who's buying this. Like, really? Is there, is there even anything backup material that anybody would want? 
The 13th Doctor's first collect comic collection. Yeah, okay. Uh, I would like to say the last, but <laughs> I, I, I mean, this, it, they keep doing it. They're gonna, they keep making this Doctor Who. I don't know why. Okay, finally, finally, we get to sign that I'm vaguely interested in seeing. David Whittaker's Dalek World. Writer and editor David Whittaker helped establish a flourishing and lucrative Dalek empire across um, uh, across different media, including TV, books, and comics. Yes! James Goss, pay bloody attention to this. This is interesting. But in 1965, things have started to change. Uh, Simon Gurry explains. Fine, this, I am actually interested in this. So I, I'm reading this. Okay, so out this, I'm at page 43. So far, I'm reading one, two, uh, three, four pages. So, okay, you got four pages out of 46 so far that I'm interested in. So, yeah, again, you're lucky I, 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 I use this to uh, uh, make content for my channel. Now we're back to the uh, the comic strip. This come back and the artwork is a bit low quality, isn't it? Look at it. I mean, really? What's going on here? This is remarkably bad, isn't it? Who did the art? Scott Gray. The art. Okay, Scott Gray's been the writer on Doctor Who comic strip. Been pretty good writer on Doctor Who comic strip for I don't know 20, 30 years. Fine. Now he's doing the art as well. This is. This is bargain basement. This is, this is, what? This isn't, I wouldn't call this professional. I mean, the coloring look, the coloring's carrying it together, but this is not professional. I, I'm sorry. It's just, like, what? Look, Scott, I, I, look, I know you need some kind of artistic ability to be able to do comics. And you do, but this is not professional. I, 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 I'm, I'm quite shocked, really. Like, why not get in? I mean, can they not afford it? I mean, honestly, you can find, you can get comic art, good comic art. Like, like Dominic Racho, who does, who did the, the, the Imperium. Let me, let me pull that up so you can see it. I, I want to show you, like, like, I, I can't, I'm looking at this and going, well, I, I get, how did this even happen? This is, this is, this is remarkable to me. One second, I'm just going to pull up some uh, some some artwork that you can get for yeah. You know, this is a hundred dollars a page. You 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 can make this for uh, you, uh, easily, easily. You 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 can get a solid black and white art for a hundred dollars a page, probably including lettering. So here, let me show you. Yeah, let me open this up. Doink. So this was uh, significantly cheaper than that as well. So let me go over here. There you go. Preview. Okay, and we're gonna make put this on. I'm gonna go and turn this off, right? So look at this. This is I, I, this is professional artwork, right? This is professional art. This is for my 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 Indiegogo. Then go. This is professional artwork. Th this really isn't, right? I, I, and again, a hundred dollars a page. How, and how how many pages is a story? It's uh, let's go back. We got. Wow. This, I mean, really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it gets worse, really? I mean, eight. Okay, you're telling me they couldn't get a... They, 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 they can't afford a professional artist, which is what it looks like to me. Like, and again, look, Scott, I, this is no, no diss on you, mate, I, even though, uh, yeah, you do support a hate group. <laughs> like, yeah, the whole not my doctor hate group, you're totally on, in bed with them. Uh, 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 this is just garbage. This is just garbage. I, I, I really, I can't believe this got made. Uh, who won? See, look at that, still going. Fact of Fiction, Last Christmas, which is actually not a bad episode, I have to tell you. Uh, better than I remembered it. It's much better than I remembered it. I watched it about a year ago. Uh, and, yeah, I, I like I watch Christmas stuff over Christmas. So, uh, yeah, listen. This is like I would thumb through in the bathroom. I wouldn't buy it for this. Uh, one, two, how many pages can I spend on this? One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. All right, so that's not so bad. I, I, that's something I'm, I might actually read. Apocrypha I normally read, I actually find, find that quite interesting. It's uh, the Doctor Who's that aren't quite really Doctor Who, like, <laughs> like, the, like the Jodie Whittaker one. <laughs> and then reviews, the Tenth Doctor and uh, River Song set, very good. I would read that. Oh, four. This is, I'm telling you, I've so far I've got about six pages I would read. Seven, yeah, okay, I would read seven pages so far. This looks excellent, by the way. I, I bought this when they released it years ago. 
Uh, I think they cleaned it up. It looks, it, it, if, if this is a strong recommend. For anybody uh, uh, thinking about getting this is an extremely strong recommend. These are all the Dalek strips from the 60s. Uh, one piece strips, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I do love the storytelling in a one piece strip. It's, uh, you know, it, it, it's something that you don't think could really be done. Uh, it really can be done. It's, it's done very well. So yeah, that's a strong recommend. Uh, Doctor Who Toys, Friends of the 13th Doctor. Uh, uh, maybe maybe they, they should, <laughs> when it said Friends of the 13th Doctor, you should go be all the friends of the 13th Doctor. <laughs> like, you know, that's it. That's their, that's all their viewers right there. <laughs> they can do a box set of the 13th Doctor viewers. Um, yeah, these look kind of good, but I have to tell you, I, I, I'm not I'm not really into buying Doctor Who merchandise anymore uh, so much. It just, it, the current era is just, such a drag in it, and you know, I could I could handle getting a, a decent Sarah Jane or a Mana figures. Uh, you know, I, I don't have them in my collection. Uh, the the Scottish Doctor, you know, I can live without unit soldiers. Uh, you know, I don't really need it for my I collect. I got Benton. You know, I'm good enough. And I, yeah, and and the, a lot of these things are are reissues. These are nice. The History of the Daleks. Uh, um, uh, but yeah, that's that's clearly where they're making their money now. Not not on the uh, on the on the current era. Um, Wintertime Paradox. I might have been interested in this, but I understand there's a couple of Jody stories in there. Not really interested, and I'm sorry. I, I, it's just the way it is. I, I, look, I'll read this review. Uh, I'll see what it says. Uh, I'll see what it says. Uh, if it's not too Jody uh, heavy, I might, I might uh, 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 pick myself up, uh, uh, pick myself up a copy. Right, I might do that. Uh, DDO on crossword. Uh, then competition. Uh, coming soon. Okay, masterful. This looks quite good. I'm 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 quite excited about this. Uh, so yeah. So this is something I would I would read the uh, the coming soon of masterful and what's coming out next year. Full Doctor volumes. Uh, vo series ten. Blimey, series ten now. And uh, he's still knocking them out. Uh, Colony of Fear in the limping uh, main big finish main range, begging for death. Like please let it be over. Uh, the Deep Down Christmas Quiz. Maybe we should do this on my live stream. That would be fun. Because uh, it seems very Jody heavy, doesn't it? But this is a very Jody heavy issue. So, I mean, listen, I'd be, I would love to see the sales data of this issue compared to, like, yeah, non the, the Jody light issues. Because I would love to see if there's any um, financial co correlation. And next issue, I am the master, you will obey me. 50 years of the Doctor's Arch Nemesis. 50 years, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, listen, uh, when's it coming out? January 7th. Whew. <laughs> yeah, we should know, the, we will should know the audience figures by then for the festive special, and we'll know the uh, 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 the sales data for Doctor Who magazine for 2020, which will be interesting. Um, I guess they're still trying to sell these uh, um, Doctor Who, these uh, uh, 10th Doctor store, uh, boxes. What? Just what? Just explain to me. Explain to me. Like, what is she trying to convey with this failure? Like, like, what? I don't understand. Like, I know more than you. Uh, it's, I'm the Doctor. Uh, like, I don't understand. Like, I, I, are you supposed to make this feel excited or, or safe or, or I, I don't understand what is this expression trying to tell me uh, other than I have utter contempt for everybody in the universe uh, uh, that doesn't yeah, that isn't me right, and, uh, and it came uh, back on TV did it come right wrapped in a I must done because you got two posters you got this poster uh, again it, it, look she looks better there like at least there it looks like a vaguely like heroic but here what the hell and captain jack i'm back baby i'm captain jack i'm sexy i've dyed my hair i'm here to save the day you're not going to save the day mate i'm afraid it's not going to happen not going to happen so there you go oh, there you go my, my imperium again that's so much better than the other guy really i just can't believe that that's really shocking the comic strip was it was i found shocking so there you go doctor who magazine uh five five nine who gives a crap who like i'm fine i'll go back and have a look see the issue number uh we'll go page overview we go up here oh god that just the contempt i think that's the look i'm getting from you just utter contempt so where, where do they where do they keep the pay, the issue number now dude, dude really oh Doctor issue, 
559, January 2021. Uh, 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 I thought it was on screen, I was doing it. Never mind. There you go. My name is Cedar Beckett, the Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And have yourselves a fantastic, a fantabulous, a wonderful, a wondrous day. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and, and, I don't know, week, month, year. Have yourself a good time. Yeah. <laughs>